gas exchange in the alveoli. So what's going to happen is we take a deep breath and that air is going to travel all the way down through our respiratory system and then that air is going to enter into our lungs, supplying our lungs with oxygen. Now again, as we learned in pulmonary circulation, oxygen poor blood enters the lungs. So because there's a high concentration of oxygen in the lungs and a low concentration of oxygen in the blood, the oxygen is going to move into the blood through the process of diffusion. So oxygen gas enters the blood. Now on the flip side of that, oxygen is now leaving the lungs and going into the blood. However, your oxygen poor blood is bringing in a lot of carbon dioxide. So that's what these cells are bringing into the lungs. So since you have a high concentration of carbon dioxide on your blood cells and a low concentration inside of your lungs, your carbon dioxide is then going to enter the lungs. And then we exhale it out. So there's our gas exchange. Just like you were to exchange anything with a friend, what you would do is you would give them something and they would give something in return to you. So if you're lending a video game to a friend, you would give them a video game and in exchange they would give you a video game that maybe you wanted to play. Well, gas exchange is the same thing, except we're talking about oxygen gas and carbon dioxide gas. We have the oxygenated blood moving through the body and then transferring that oxygen to the body cells that need it. And when that oxygen is transferred to the body cells, we can now move on to step three. But before we take a look at step three, let's watch an animation on how gas exchange works inside of the alveoli. These are air sacs in a lung and an adjacent blood vessel. Blood delivers oxygen to other cells in the body. Blood also carries the cell's waste, such as carbon dioxide, back to the lungs. The blood pumped into the lungs has more carbon dioxide than the air in the lungs. Air breathed into the lungs has more oxygen than the blood. Diffusion occurs as oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules move from an area of greater concentration to one of lesser concentration. Thus, oxygen molecules diffuse into the blood and are carried to the cells of the body. Carbon dioxide molecules diffuse into the lungs and are exhaled when you breathe out. 